Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mystery Death Theater 5000. This is Ogre Banani, and I'm here with Jabberwocky today. Um, I guess that's the other way around, isn't it? He's here with me. Um, we're doing a little bit of Doom 2. We were going to showcase a particular level, but uh, I think we're just going to play do it a little bit and get a feel. Exactly. Yeah. Because Doom, Doom 2 is, it, you just got to slide on in there. That's right. Like a and how are you doing? It? I'm doing good, but yeah, we got to slide on in there like a chainsaw, uh, jumping right into a uh, imp there. So, a, a question about speaking of chainsaws, do you remember where the first chainsaw is in the first level? Um, I don't actually. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hurt me plenty because okay, that's the way before we like you it. step forward. Oh, there. All right, there you go. Oh man! So this yeah, is like, meat grinder. <laughs> so this is the first of the actual Doom recordings we're doing for our Doom December focus at the moment, and I, I just, you know, like I'm just, I've had all these thoughts and been planning this. I mean, you know, Paul and I had discussed this like two months ago, and you know, when we realized, like, holy shit, it's the 30th anniversary of this year, and so I guess Josh, what's you know, Ogre, what is your what is your history with Doom? What was the first time you got to experience it? <clears throat> so my growing up, my dad was actually super into all the latest techie things. And one of his favorite things to do was to hack shareware. Huh. And so he would get he would go to conventions and things and he would get shareware discs and what most people did not know at the time is shareware was often the entire game mm -hmm. but just blocked off by a lock and so my dad would set out to break that lock so growing up, I always had computers around. Um, he, because he was also in the computer repair business in the '90s, so you can imagine how that was. Oh, totally, yeah. Because so that means you've you've got you know some old, uh, you know these these different systems and different. I mean, so I'm assuming that you you got to see old school terminals that were like the pre windows where it was like the cathode rays with like the green text and everything. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Um, now, I didn't get to play around with them. My dad was very particular about who yeah. could and could not touch the things. Yeah. Uh, for obvious reasons, being a small child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my boom. Well, okay, maybe not this one, but it is we'll a get there. It's, yeah, we're getting there. It is, it is a boomstick. Let's make sure we got everything. I'm pretty sure... God, I feel like there's... I think there's one more. There, there is, and I can't remember how to trigger it. Okay. I guess, yeah. <laughs> yes, and welcome back to Mystery Death Theater 5000 and the special, special wall hump edition. Yeah, see, <clears throat> that's one thing I don't think I'm going to worry about too much is doing the wall hump because we got that one. That yeah. might be everything. Yeah, we're pretty damn close. Close enough for Let's most. Let's find out. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So you had all this this technology around, and so I'm assuming then that there was a version of Doom that you got to play that was basically the shareware that had you know. So I guess that's then the question: the shareware version of Doom did it include all three episodes, or was it just knee deep in the day? Mm. Uh, I believe at this time it was just knee deep. Um. Though I had the privilege to have a wide variety of the shooters on hand. Um, I have played everything from Doom to Rise of the Triad to oh. Thief to like the OG Thief. Yeah, yeah. The old, yeah. <clears throat> it was something entirely different. Like, I appreciate the re release. Um,. Yeah, it was but, uh, Thief Gold, right? That was the re-release, yeah. I think? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the OG was 
for its time, something absolutely oh. amazing. Because oh. stealth shooters hadn't really been mm -hmm. <clears throat> a thing. Well, I mean, shooters were still in their infancy at the time, so it was still something really cool. Yeah, people Two were... For one. Exactly, yeah. And, and it's interesting even to be talking about that in the middle of playing Doom, because, I mean, this was the... Because this was the standard. Doom figured out a amazing sense of design that became the standard for the industry and for that genre. But then, yeah, things like Thieves started to expand, like, well, with these first-person perspectives, what else can we do? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> so something I'd like to bring to attention about uh, these, these early shooters, uh, by id in particular, is that there is actually no... There's technically no Z-axis in these games. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an X and there is a Y, but things like aiming up and down uh, weren't a thing yet. So even though I'm down here and this guy is up here, shooting still resulted in his death. Um, but it, and it also kind of started to allow them to play around with things like uh, the distance here. Like, if I don't run, I don't make this jump. Mm-hmm. And so this is their their lead into hey, you have a run button, you should use it, and that running allows you to make that gap. Exactly, and that's that's you know one of the cool things about going back to these games is the uh, the way in which they had to figure out how to communicate to the player what you needed to do. Oh, there was a door you haven't gone through yet. There, sir, is. Just want to make sure. Three from one. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, you, you got the, the you got the three for there. It's it's like it's like when you get the good the good deals at the Costco there, and you just oh oh hello. Now, this is my boomstick. Mm -hmm. So, I actually prefer the single barrel shotgun. And the reason for that is, watch when I do this. Okay? Pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Now watch when I do the same. Let's find another guy. Uh, yeah, gotta open some doors and then we'll find another guy. Ooh, Ooh here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Like, that is a fairly lengthy reload animation. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of cool that, like, back in, this was, I think, 94 when this came out, they set the standard that, yep, the, uh, you have the slow and chonk, or you have the, uh, the speedy and, and beefy. Yep. Now, uh, if I'm fighting, say, the little pink piggies. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to bust out a double barrel. Of course. Yeah, because that pretty much takes them out in, like, practically one hit. And here's another benefit of not yeah, having a Z axis, right? <laughs> Z axis. And uh, the updates made it even better because when your crosshair actually gets over something that is blow upable. Oh, yeah, yeah. They turn red. That. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, something that can actually be struck by the hit. So that's kind of cool that it, because the game is going to have to have that. This is like going, you know, under the hood of the game itself, you know, like actually looking at how the code works. But there's the because um, these are what are called hit scan weapons, which I know there's a lot of folks that are enthusiasts that are like, why the fuck is he explaining hit scan? But basically, it, it, it's, you know, you have essentially a like a laser pointer sticking out of the um, out of the player and and you basically just keep aiming towards you know whenever it, it uh is like okay i've found a target or found something that is targetable you know you do the thing i think you're good there yeah so i actually don't know where all the secrets are it's been that long oh um, yeah yeah no, I, I don't and know. i don't yeah, yeah. Oh. Surprise! <laughs> they hit them pretty good. Yeah, I do, like... So back to your actual question. Uh, I've been playing Doom for a very long time. Uh, off and on. I've played 
almost every iteration of Doom, uh, including the one on a calculator. Wow. Whoop. Probably should have left that door shut. Hey, 94 health. You're fine. You're fine. Right. You're fine. Oh, hey, there you are. Oh, oh hello. Oh, oh, they just wanted to take your order at the drive-thru. Oh. No. No. Yeah. So again, that was a case of running made that jump doable. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could have got up here anyway, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, but still. You did it. There's, there's, there's the the regular way, and then there's the fun way. You chose the fun way. That's right. In terms of Doom, do you have a favorite version that you've played? Um. So I am partial to the PC releases. Um. Ooh, Chain Gunner. Mm. Just because. I very few of the future releases. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, very few of the future releases have done <clears throat> justice to the games. Like they've changed things, or and some of them, you know, it's literally had to be changed because they did not work on your system because for whatever reason, mm -hmm. right? So, like, the N64 version. Yeah, it was great to have a version of Doom on the N64. Um, but so much had to be compromised to get it... Oh, I don't have any key cards. Uh, to get it onto the system that it's like, well, is it is it really still Doom? And I mean, at its core... Ow, 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 I forgot about that. Oh, Spectres. Oh, God, Spectres. Yep. Oh, first death. All right. All right. All right. And now we're down to a pistol. Oh, yeah. hey, look, a shotgun. We're fine. It's like, everyone relax, we're fine. Oh. But yeah, the 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 Midway Doom 64 is an interesting beast because they basically made, like, a new game out of it. And understandably, I think they were doing it because it was a... It was sort of like they decided, well, we wanted to make, like, our own Doom that they... I would not be surprised if they actually, like, practically were saying, like, hey, can this be Doom 3? You know, like, the, you know, be able to put that in their marketing, but, you know, then they had to say, no, it's Doom 64, because it's on the Nintendo 64. But yeah, every, yeah. Ver every ver many versions have had their strange uh, quirks. Like, I, I love the, uh, mm. I love the, uh, like, because one of the first versions I played was the Atari Jaguar version, where there's oh. no, where there's no music. Yeah, and this game without music is just definitely not the same game. It's not. You, you gotta get your Bobby Prince in there, man. And this guy is... Being a butt. Oh, nice! There you, there you go. A little nerfage of the, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, tell him. Ah, nice, good. But, yeah, the, and, uh, uh... Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And so... <clears throat> ooh hoo hoo we are down to fists. Oh dear. Oh. This is going to be interesting. You got this. There Fist you go. Fist looks like my dad's. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh. There it goes. Okay, he's kind of... Nice. There you go. Ooh, that's one. Oh, that's right, there's two. I forgot there's two down there. So, folks at home, if you've watched Mystery Death Theater before, you, you know that we, we don't claim to be very good at these at these games. <laughs> we, we, we have fun. Ogre here, on the other hand, is very good at video games. <laughs> it was kind of my choice of career. Um, it is my partner's choice in career. <clears throat> Get some of these. I need to stop doing that. Oh, okay. No. Nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is harrowing. Oh, hey, oh, we're gonna just there. take this. Yeah, we we are we are just shells and health and all right. We're looking a little better. The uh, um, yeah. Uh, please go ahead. So once again, back to the subject. Uh, so it was my uh, my dad was really into hacking sharewares and so rocket launcher yeah oh yeah rocket um launcher. yeah so okay so hacking the sharewares and uh, uh back up to 100 and so when he was done with the hacking he didn't care so much about the game hmm. and so, so he would uh he had put together just a little computer that wow what was i even trying for on that one uh, that he could supervise and would allow me and my little brother to play games. And so we got a whole bunch of hands-on experience with a lot of the early shooters. We got to... Ooh, hello. Forgot how many specters they throw Oof. at you right out the gate. Yeah, good. Yeah, God. and and it and it doesn't get better. No, like uh, the level I intended on just starting on is a very rough level, and I hope I don't ever have to go pistols only on it. Which means, <laughs> of course, I'm going to have to end up going pistols only on it. Is uh, So yeah, you get an experience with uh, with ye old doom shooters. Uh, did, were there any others from that era that like stood out, and how did they compare to the doom exp the, the id software experience? So I, uh, I actually to this day I love Rise of the Triad. Yeah, I I thought it was a great concept. I don't remember much of it anymore. It's been. 30 years or some 28 years since I've played them. Uh, I have, there's apparently a new one on Steam that I have wishlisted. That's a remaster. We'll see how that goes. Uh, um, yeah. And it was one that was supervised by folks that worked on uh, Rot 2013 and the original uh, team from the first game. Because, and I know this because they actually found the original photos that they digitized. So they were able to do a high definition remaster of even the original sprites Ooh, okay maybe uh, this is worth checking out yeah at least th that's to my understanding so I, I could be wrong but um they did at least find a whole bunch of behind the scenes information and all that because because um uh dave oshry of new blood was um uh one of the guys that worked at on uh the rise of the triad 2013 and so he had uh so he had all those connections through that, and so he was one of the the main folks behind getting that remaster to uh, to go off. Okay, but, that's awesome. Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, Rise of the Triad is a is a I think an interesting part of this whole you know era where it is extremely video gaming yes. compared to something where like because I think part of the thing that shifted with Doom and especially even like with Doom Two is that now you start to get to this point where these are more like these immersive worlds and the kind of video game elements start to kind of peel away a bit like the point system and things like it's not about points it's about percentage percentages and completion percentages and uh i love that you're not even checking your map to because i'm i'm a i'm a map scrub i i look for i look for secrets i did, map. i don't even think about it anymore and what really bothers me is i haven't figured out how to release follow mode because that used to be a thing. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. And I haven't figured out what I could probably. Is there a mm, gameplay customized control? Oh yeah, it might be a, like a button you have to trigger. Uh, zoom map in. zoom in, map zoom out. I could do. That's probably what it is now. Is zoom in, zoom out. Yeah. Looks that way. Wow, you can even have a mini map. Interesting. So. Yeah, uh, there we go. Still this following. isn't helping. Yeah. <laughs> I know I want to... Uh, what? Yeah, so that gets you there. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
that was the one you got from yeah. elsewhere, right? Oh, that's the one I came out of. Right. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, because there's supposed to be like some way to lower that uh, lower that little uh, pond barrier. Right? Yeah, yeah right, right to to go down there and get a something. I think it's like rocket launcher ammo or something. Well, this lets us go around here. There's the switch that we flipped. Huh. Come back out here. What do you want me to do? Can I? Is this a running jump? It's not, right? No, no, no. There, there's a way to to. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I could you... maybe do it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna spend more time trying to do it than I would if I just went and found the fucking exit. Hump, 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 yep. hump, hump. Um. But yeah, so I so I've had access to PCs and shooters in particular for a while. Mm -hmm. I grew out of love with them after Halo Two. Ah. Which is a pretty long run for shooters. Yeah. Um, but you know, I just uh some of the newer shooters I wasn't really feeling. There was a rough period for FPS games. I would argue that like from I wanna say two thousand four to two thousand nine, maybe twenty ten. Like, there's, there's highlights, but, like, the dominance of the post-Halo, post-Call of Duty, and post-Call of Duty Modern Warfare, right. uh, that, that was where things really, I think, shifted and changed. And that's where you get to, to a point where, you know, you get some really interesting kind of ex exploratory first-person shooters. Like, you get, like, uh, like, I'm a big fan of Criterion's game Black, which I thought was just the awesome idea of you give the guys who made the Burnout franchise carte blanche to do the ultimate action movie game. And it's, you know, and it's, and it's an imperfect beast. It's got a fucking difficulty spike at the end and no boss fights, which is, you know, kind of a pain in the ass. But it's a still a, you know, interesting game for the time. But yeah, I think the rise of console gaming... And then the difficulty in people figuring out how to make console uh, FPSs interesting was kind of a challenge. Like, because, you know, uh, it became kind of like the case of there was the Doom clone, then it became that what, what's the Halo killer? And so, yeah. we, and so we get games like, you know, Killzone, which was meant to be the Halo killer. And Killzone is conceptually, I think, really interesting, but I've never really enjoyed playing them too much. And, hmm, God, what other, what other stuff was around? I, you know, because then, like, you know, you have, like, Far Cry comes out in, like, 2004, and Far Cry really doesn't hit its stride, in my opinion, until you get to Far Cry 2 and really with Far Cry 3, which, again, becomes part of the whole Ubisoft problem, but that's a whole other discussion. Yep. So I, I didn't. I think I have a Far Cry. I don't think I've ever played a Far Cry. <clears throat> um, I don't know why that is. It's like I have no particular dislike. All right. Um, it's just none of them ever really seem to just strike me as, "Hey, you need to play this game." Mm, mm hmm. And hmm. Hmm. So you got the blue key. Yeah, I, th I heard that, but I don't know what it was. Something looks odd here. Oh, hey, we have some textures alignments. Hey, Zolde. Oh, hey, there you go. Oh, your boomstick back in your hands. I wonder. Close. Nope. Nope. Ah, this one way wall. One way wall. It's it's the oh, new one way wall. The, the new hit from Oasis. That's right. I love it. Ah, uh, the sounds. The sounds of my childhood. Oh, hell yeah. Dying demons. No, wait, what? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's it's fine. It's fine. You're, you're allowed to. That's it's part of their it's part of their job description to be evil and to die horribly. Ooh. That's still one of the funniest things that really <laughs> it makes a certain amount of sense to me is that uh, Sandy Peterson, who uh, 
did so many of the maps and did a lot of the, you know, helped a bunch, well, reportedly helped a bunch on the development of this game and uh, Doom 1 and Quake 1, he uh, he's Christian. <laughs> yeah. And it's uh, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that tracks. I, I mean, certainly, you know, we we you and I, we play uh, the Call of Cthulhu tabletop RPG, which Sandy Peterson also was the main, one of the main uh, creators of in the 80s. And that is also a similarly uh, punishing experience, um, like trying to be a member of the Catholic Church. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, so there was a, a shooter that I actually really enjoyed. Ooh, ooh, this would have been early aughts, mm -hmm. I think. Mid-aughts, right around then. Is there really nothing for me to do here? Oh, well, there's, there, come at there's, this from a uh, different okay. angle. Okay, so if you turn around, there there was a switch, and then there's also... Yeah, did I not? Oh, I didn't hit the switch. This is the different... Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. That's always been one of my favorite little, little things, where you have to hit the other box to... To get that teleporter there, yeah. I don't actually know what the switch does, though. I think that unlocks something in the other room. Whoopsie Daisy. Ah well. Ooh, I found a secret. Oh, you found. Yeah. It. Oh, there you go. And then um, you gotta find a red door there. Okay, so that's the. All right, so that was the blue door you went through. Uh, okay, so shooter, early aughts, uh, description. It's, uh, well, no, I know what it's, it's, uh, well, I did know, I had it, right up until I wanted to say it. Um, so it was for PlayStation 3, I want to say 3, 3 sounds right. Um, and you could have 256 players. All Whoa. in the same match. Oh. Uh, was it called Mag? It might have been Mag. That sounds I think familiar. It was Mag. Hmm. Do not know what you are doing. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah. time to just Doesn't open. Doesn't matter what it's doing. Yeah, it's time to open up that red door. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Mag. I'm actually I'm going to Google that. <clears throat> Go boot. So this wants me to come back here, which means the red door must be here somewhere. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, yes, hey, Mag look, was the was a door. mass was a massively multiplayer online first person shooter developed by Zipper Interactive. Ah, they did it for the Zipper, for the PS3. The game was released in North America on January 26, 2010. And, uh, yeah. And and it's wild to think that they were trying to pull that off years before, you know, um, I will say DICE attempted 128-player Battlefield 2042. Yeah, and I won't say that they were full games all the time. But still, the number of players in the game was impressive. <laughs> all right, and this thing's just over here. Um, but it was just really impressive that it felt more like a, a combat sort of thing. Um, I'm no longer interested in such, uh, mill sim, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, what was that? Arma? That was another one that a lot of folks used to play and talk about. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't. But for, and I just want to be clear, everybody who likes those games, like, you know, Escape from Tarkov or Call of Duty or what have you, uh, Escape from Tarkov is probably the biggest uh, mill sim on the market as far as, like, being the closest. Hey, Whoa, look at that. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, the we uh, took... Four times longer than it wanted us to take, but hey, it's you win some, you lose some. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it was just woo, the where was I? Sorry, uh, the the Milsim, uh, Escape from Tarkov, most realistic. I'm assuming to uh, or most accurate to the actual experience of operating right. weapon, we weaponry and stuff like that. Yeah, 
Uh, and it was just uh, and uh, Escape from Tarkov is very detailed. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, the the way I would almost consider it is it's like how we have uh, in tabletop art role playing games. There's the concept of the, a game that's very crunchy. It's very number crunchy. Yeah, it's because that's because because it feels like you're just having to keep track of so many details. And it's it's impressive when a game can do that, but there's a uh, there's also a sense of like what what are you losing in the process? What, where is your focus and your attention getting taken by? Because like that was uh, you know because again coming back to the tabletop role playing um, analogy, like I've uh, for a while I was uh, interested in uh, in GURPS and was yep. looking into that system and the versatility of GURPS is my number one reason for enjoying it and I've only had a chance to run it once but I would love to uh, to do more of it just because of the fact that it, it allows that versatility however however there is literally like in some of the modules or some of the expansions, you know, for like, oh, here's your World War II, here's your Wild West, etc. It's down to practically, I'm, I'm, I am exaggerating a bit, but it is down to practically like the grain of gunpowder changing the modifier for accuracy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh... like that. That is that's fucking crunchy. <laughs> See, I also liked Doom for how atmospheric it was for its time, especially. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, like, the, yeah, look at this. This is crazy. When I was a kid, this was scary as fuck, man. Like, mm -hmm. creeping through these hallways, not being able to see much more than just the tiny little bit ahead of you. Like, and the software limitations made it scarier. Oh, totally. Oh, not to mention the fact that this is running on way smoother frame rates than we would often have back in the day. You know, they wouldn't always, the game wouldn't always run this smoothly on your system. Oh, yeah, for sure. That okay. right there was a prime example of definitely needing a double barrel. Oh, yeah. Because I did not see that specter come up on me out of nowhere. Ob for obvious reasons. <laughs> Many reasons, yes. In one, including and not limited to the fact that. Uh, oh <laughs> yes, I was wondering where we were going to get one of these. No, well, we're going to go this way. Yeah, there we go. Right? No? Oh, oh, there you go. Splat. I love it. <laughs> that is Gibbed. One that is one thing I will give a lot of credit to uh, Doom 64 is that uh, there's a Berserk power-up incredibly easy to find right out the gate. That's true. And I believe it actually sticks around enough that you actually like get the bu the get like a slight buff from it even after it wears off. Sit down. <laughs> you sit down too. Uh, um, so yeah, so Mag. Um, after Mag, I kind of fell off the shooter. I, I like Halo Two, Mag. It was kind of around that same same time that that early aughts shooter style where things were becoming a little less. Uh, I don't know, arcadey. Yeah, they were they were doing like the whole like weapon limit very arbitrarily. Like even Duke Nukem Forever limited your guns, and it's like that's not even from a design perspective and the way the levels and encounters are designed in that game. You should not have a two weapon limit in that game. It doesn't it doesn't actually make sense. It doesn't it's not fun to play at that point. And uh, well, I mean, let's be real, Duke Nukem Forever is just not fun. Period for a lot of reasons. Yeah, and I uh, I think I skipped it actually. Good. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that, um, Ooh. yeah, that was, that was, um, <clears throat> yeah, the only definitely time... a regret. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I and I've I've had some similar buyer's regret. I mean, I had, I actually, yeah. Future me, can you put up another Callisto zinger on there? Because you know, uh, Callisto Protocol, man. <laughs> uh, like, uh, yeah. Um, but so yeah, I had, uh, just kind of fallen out of love with the genre in general. And like I, I would still watch people play from time to time, um, but overall, woo -hoo -hoo, mm. look at you, sneaky boys. Nice. Uh, overall, I was just not, oof, really into how the games felt to play. Yeah, they got sluggish. They the the whole like. I think when you're also mentioning arcade, one of the things that has been it's kind of forgotten now because so many games have sort of have brought it back, but the the lack of health power ups. And so it's like, oh, you're injured. Uh, sit, sit here while your shield regenerates. Yeah, I, I, mm, I, and, I just, you know, mm. yeah, Halo, Halo was really notorious for that, uh, literally building it into the core gameplay loop. Essentially, yeah. And and now they, they did, I think they did really good about refining that as time went on and making it so that, you know, you don't have to duck away for 10 seconds to get your shields to start recharging. <clears throat> but uh, what are we looking for? A red key card or hmm. it's probably south, right? Well, uh, yeah, that's gonna be my guess. So let's make our way back that way. Yeah, there's a uh, there are elements of mitigation in those types of mechanics that can happen and do happen, and they uh, they can work quite well. But it's ah, um, oh, there it is. Blue key card. Oh. No, no, I saw it's on the it's on the right. So uh, sorry, yeah, up and to the right. Sorry, not the right, the left. Excuse me. <sighs> Bring that right where you said it was. Hey, look, a blue key card. Oh, hey. So one of the down, no, one of the cons of Doom was its center-held gun. So, and obviously with the HUD being at the bottom of the screen, something like these stairs. I've blocked off a huge vantage point for me where I can't see something if it's standing at the bottom of these stairs. Mm -hmm. And that, that happens a lot in Doom 2 in particular because they really uh, implement a lot more verticality into this one, I recall. Oh, well, oh, okay. all right then. Oh, I see. That's the shortcut to then get yeah. up here, get the blue key, and then go through there. Okay. Interesting. Huh. So all right. Maybe I should have knocked first. My bad, guys. I, I didn't know you were just, you know, pumping your guns. Or each other's guns. I hear you down there. I also find that the other thing that became an issue with shooters for a while... Oh, um, boy. Oh, hey. It's some beholders. I mean, oh. I, whoa. Got a demon that. Oh, that's why they're called caco demons, because they're a bunch of cacks. Right? Yeah, I hear you. Where are you at? No? It's you on the other on side. side then. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Got there him. Go. Nice. Uh, now we the, can see what's down here. Oh, look. Yeah, the, the, Nothing. But yeah, it felt like at a certain point, the aesthetics and kind of design of those worlds was starting to get kind of stagnant. It was just, you know, another generic military shooter. And even mm -hmm. if there were like kind of some fun gimmicks that would get implemented, like uh, Bulletstorm had some fun gimmicks. Painkiller had some really cool aesthetic. But the um, it's kind of even hard today to like go back to some of those games just because they've uh, they don't have like kind of, I guess, that sort of passion uh, okay passion's the wrong word what am i looking at uh, thinking of it feels a little too committee in terms of its design <laughs> choices you know like this is what's popular yeah. you need to do blank you know um it became in my opinion the shooter industry became a lot more about outdoing the last guy than it did about making a good shooter 
Yep. Oh, I love this, and this area. We saw that with yeah. Make sure there's nothing up here before we Dude, go down there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Good, good for you to look it up to check. Uh, and we saw that with things like okay, so we're gonna be coming back up here definitely. But let's check these columns switches. Pretty sure there's something. Doom up. loves to hide switches on columns. That they do. Um, it's, it's it's a regular pastime. But yeah, they're trying to outdo exactly trying to outdo the last guy rather than do their own their own thing and and I, I i think that's you know getting into you know one of the issues i think with the industry as we talk about it at large is how it's following that sort of business sense oh hell knights suck my rockets oh and those are arachnatrons down there in the in the sewer i think oh too. yeah oh boy I do love uh, Sandy Ooh. Sandy Peterson's uh, story of why the Arachnatron came about was because they had done the Mastermind, and he was like, I want to put in more Masterminds. That's such a cool design, but we only got to see it once, and that's why he pushed to have the Arachnatron in... Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, this is Pinkies. Okay. Oh, come on, really? Uh-oh. Oh. Maybe I should have Maybe I should have checked that first, huh? Oh. Hmm. 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 Mm hmm. I could have mushed him into nothing. Oh yeah. Okay. I see. I could have made them pasty. Dead. Made them real dead. No, made them super uh, dead. Uh, something tells me I don't want to go up there and become paste. I don't think I'd be very. Good. I don't want to be a good paste. I'd uh, more of a chutney. Uh, some torn. Yeah, I see you up there. There's no way that hits me. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, <laughs> oh, I see. I've. Okay. Gosh darn it. Oh, I. Okay. I deserve that. No. Hmm. Okay. I'm... Now I'm confused. So I need to use this to make it to that side. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Probably. Uh, the sound of... The sound of imps is up there, I think. What? Uh, nope. Alright. Man, but I don't... I'm not gonna get very many more attempts to do this. Hmm. I do know that there was... There's an opening on the... At the at top of the elevator as well. Alright. Because, uh, like that gap there, there should be one on the, uh, when you go all the way up on the opposite side. There it is. Bingo. Yeah. And you got some... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh Bobby! Bobby, damn it! Why did you have to put me over here with these imps? I can aim, I promise. Energy cell. Hmm. Hump that wall. We. Ooh. How'd you get down here, huh? Map magic. <laughs> also, one thing I have to appreciate about this game over the old Quake games: no fall damage. Right. As soon, as soon as they added that Z axis, oh boy, they yeah, were. I, uh... <laughs> I actually really enjoyed Quake in the aspect that I was very fortunate. Really? Just totally missed that guy entirely? No, I think the door opened once he got the key. Uh, no, I mean with my shot. Oh, 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 my bad. Uh, so when I was in college for all of two semesters, um... It turns out I was just much more interested in socializing. Mm. Uh, I was part of a friend's master's thesis um, about the zone. Mm. And how gamers would often enter this sort of state of zen. Um where th their actions are and we see it a lot in like professional sports players mm -hmm. 
where they just enter the zone. Yeah. Right. I I, I mean, on the, having speaking as somebody who you know tries to make movies, I uh, I've seen actors get there. Yeah. And so I it was it was really cool. He I was hooked up to I don't know two dozen electrodes or some shit all yeah. on my body. Yeah, now I remember the story now. You've told me this before. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, yeah. And then he goes, All right. So I want you to play some Quake. And I went, That's an odd choice because it's not like I'm not playing against anybody. And he goes, well, see, that's a different part of my thesis. And I went, S oh, okay. Um, base oh, God, I Shit. forgot about these guys. Fucking revenants, ah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what you want. I love it when you hit each other. It's great. In fighting for the win. Certainly will make things dead simple up ahead. Yeah. Also, for the kids at home, chain guns in a game like this with the uh, hit scan targeting like that, they allow you to use a chain gun like a sniper rifle that fires yeah. very, very fast. So, okay, so you get set up to the trodes. Um, how did how did this go though? Like, well, so the first bit was just you know the the very I want to get. For because it was science, right? So mm -hmm. I, he's like, I'm. I need to get a baseline, <clears throat> and so you're going to play through this level, and these are the things that I need you to do. And he gave us a list of, like, get, uh, try and kill three people without dying. Try and kill like just different menial tasks to. Uh, that's the back of the way I came. I don't know if I'm ready quite yet to go that way. Uh, menial tasks so that he could get metrics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wish... I might have to see if he ever finished this. Because I never got to see the finished product. But okay, good. Uh, and so we did that. Uh, then we did... What am I doing? There we go. Uh, and extended, uh, like, oh, I'm out of ammo. Mm. That'll do it. That will do it. Now I'll turn it into a nice gooey little bit of base. It's like a big, it's a little beige. It's like, uh, it's like some, some chickpea soup. Yeah. And so, uh, the next part of it was okay. Now you now that you're warmed up, I want you to uh, put on the put on these headphones. Spend ten minutes really kind of just playing this level, kind of really get to know it, uh, really understand like where things are, and then I want you to run this level, killing everything as fast as you can as fast as you can um and so in that way he would get the oh oh nice teleporter trap oh yeah but it works both ways yep that it do get wrecked fuckers how dare you shoot me in the back? I'm supposed to do that. That's my job. Right? I am he who shoots. Uh, <laughs> and so... Like, and, and every single person that he tested, because obviously I was not the only person he was going to test. Yeah, if it was scientific, uh, it, it, would, it would totally... So every single person he tested found the zone. Hmm. And so, like I said, I really wish I knew the the outcome of this study. I should see if it's like on the school, uh, and like in the school archives or something. Mm -hmm. Um, just because I'm super interested in what he found out or what he. Uh, 
are you guys okay? <laughs> I think I think they're just having themselves a little dance party, a little splishy splash. All right. Um, but it was really cool just to like see, to watch people just kind of. Nowadays we call it immersion, right? Like mm. people get immersed in their game, mm -hmm. um, and so they be they just they're they're there, right? They're they're wherever that game is, they're there. And like, oh well, hello. Uh one of my favorite games to do. Wow, we didn't even we didn't do shit. Wow. Uh, I do oh, believe hey. this next level is the level we were going to start on. That is true. You have entered you deeply into the infested star port, but something is wrong. The monsters have brought their own reality with them, and the star port's technology is being subverted by their presence. Ahead, if you see an outpost of hell, a fortified zone, if you can get past it, you can penetrate into the haunted heart of the star base and find the controlling switch which holds Earth's population hostage. Yeah, I guess we never really did talk about the plot of this game, huh? Yeah, it's Doom 2 Hell on Earth. It's it's Doom 2 Hell on Earth. I mean, that's basically yeah, it. Right? <laughs> so so in, in Doom, you broke into Hell. Uh, in Doom 2, Hell breaks back. Yes. Do, do, <laughs> Doom 2, the Hell breaks back. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, so, so. Right. The zone. Everybody find that zone. Immersion. And yeah, and so it was it was just really awesome. And, and you can literally see the change come over people, right? Because they relax. Mm, mm -hmm. They just kind of they become one with their tools. And just it's it's Hello. Oh, uh click, 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 click. Space. Space. Doom, are you are, are you okay? Did uh, enter. There we, there go. we go. I don't know what the heck happened there, but hey, oh. backpack full of ammo. Oh, that's good. Because you're going to need it. Yep. Oh, boy. Hello, Mancubus. Let's dance, my friend. Let's dance. Hmm. So this is actually why I wanted to start with this level, because this is insane. It just throws you immediately into having to deal with four of these and this isn't this is okay uh, like you started ooh, oh i did not move the way i should have moved there uh oh <laughs> so now we get to pistol start <laughs> we get to we get well we're fortunate we get a double yeah but uh yeah. But yeah doing this pistols only would be uh Time consuming. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah. The, uh, I did not want to pick that up yet. No. Yeah. Yeah, well. There's a switch around somewhere, but I don't. Is this it, the one? There's many. Yeah, and I need to be careful because if I open the wrong, or if I flip the wrong, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you flip the wrong switch, you open up the um, next the next circle. Yeah. Yeah, and let's just say, folks, this next circle is not gonna be. Well, I mean, it's gonna be a fucking blast. Who am I kidding? Yeah. But okay. Um, yeah, this whoa! Is, whoa! This is where infighting has to come into play for sure. I will say one thing, as much as I love the design of the Mancubus, I've always Ooh. thought these guys were cool. I fucking hate these guys in Doom Eternal. The Cyber Mancubus in, in particular, I just, I, I, uh. Because it took me like a year of playing the game to figure out what the best tactic with them was. Whew. I, whoa, whoa! And now comes the fun part. Oh, Ractantrons! Oh, shit. You know, I'm beginning to think that the Berserker Rage is just a trap. I think so, too. I, I did notice that in uh, Doom 1, that definitely happened to me, but... All right, so I think we do want to hit these switches, yeah, actually. Yeah, because it'll, it'll drop them.
Ooh. Ooh. Took that one to the face. I don't know. Is that the only health pack in this area, though? Is the Berserker <laughs> pack? That might be the trick, huh? It might be, but I mean, they, they give you the partial invisibility at least, which I think is like meant to be like you. They probably lose aggro a little easier, a little faster. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. all right, all right. No, yeah. that's on me. That's on me. That That's my bad. Uh, what you wouldn't give for a meat hook right now. Oh, hello, sir. So, so there is splash damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can't you can't move too fast with the rockets. Nope. Yeah, because uh, you you can actually run faster than them at uh, in long areas. Oh, okay, yeah, that's on. That's that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're now re re finding out why we uh, we stopped t keeping track of how many deaths we got in these different games. Because, <laughs> you know, you'd be doing fine, and it's like, oh, you know, I died like four times playing Resident Evil Code Veronica, and then... Oh. And then a level like this happens, and it's like, oh, God. Yeah, so th this is 100% why I wanted to start with this level, uh, because this is, this is just... And remember, this is level 7. Yeah. Out of 33. Yep. And this is what they're doing to you. They are taking you to hell. All mm -hmm. right, let's go ahead and lower these platforms before we kill off this. Is that involved? Oh, it's a megasphere. Yep, chain gun stun locks. Go ahead and grab some ammo. Mm hmm. Yeah, like, my throat's clenching because I'm just like, Ugh. And these aren't even the biggest, baddest things. They're really not. How do you like it? Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I would definitely stock up on whatever you got around you. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, we were definitely going to grab as much ammo as we can. Uh, the backpack helped a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, that's going to leave us in a good spot. We got over 100 health. Are we full up on shotties? We are okay. See, and I think we're starting to enter a point where... Hold on here. Boop. Yeah, I don't know if that'll... Uh... The double barrel might just be the... Oh, I missed something. Oh. Oh, I didn't pick up the other invisibility. That's what it was. Ah, oh, right. The last, the fourth one. Oh. Ah! Now this has got yes. Sandy Peterson written all over it. Tricks and traps. Because that dude yes, loves his yes, tricks and yes. traps in his dungeons. All right, so... Oh, this song. Mm -hmm. um, I am mostly certain that we cannot go on anything with skulls in it, for obvious reasons, as yet. So we have one, two, three, four, and five, six doors. Hmm. Let's go for six. Yep. <laughs> no! Ha 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 ha! Oh god, the fucking jump scare of that. That is gonna get you killed. Yep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
That's right. That's right. Oh. That's right. Oh. Oh. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Yeah, sting like oh. a small little bee on one of sting, these fucking sting, things. Sting like a gnat. Yeah. That's what it's gonna feel like to him, I'm sure. Oh, uh, oh, oh no. Door door opening take okay, we're not gonna go that way first. No, no, um, no, no. That's on me. No. Nope, oh nope, yeah, no, nope, you need you need something nope. else for that. You need something else for Sh that. Shut there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, this one. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now, oh, hang on just a second. Once we're down, there ain't no way up. Oh. Okay, we're going down. <laughs> yeah, because I think they tell there's a teleporter down there. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. One at a time, gentlemen. <laughs> hey, get off my back. I don't want to run around in circles. <laughs> run around in circles. Oh, God, that was a soul coffin song, wasn't it? I believe so. Okay. Okay. Now we're into the real shit. Okay, mm -hmm. we're good. Oh. Okay. Whew. <laughs> that made me a frighten. All right. All, all is well in... Doomlandia? Doomlandia. Oh, goodness. Okay, this must lower something for me, right? I assume. Oh, that's right. Uh, there's the teleporter. Just go to the opposite end. Pink. Did that open the door? Maybe. Because I assume uh, these doors uh, close behind you. Ooh. Yeah, well, that's a teleporter. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, the, that uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be fun. No, that's that's the pinky room. I'm pretty sure I remember that. This is a oh yeah. Uh, okay, we can't open that. Uh, All right. Well. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Let's go die. Oh no. Oh no. The fact they separated the the Baron and the Oh son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the Hell Knight and the Baron of Hell as two Oh, oh this is hello, sirs. Oh god, there's three of them. Fuck, there's three of them. Oh. One HP in a dream. Oh yep. Y'all hear that? Y'all yeah. hear that? Mm-hmm. Mm. Wait, did that mean it triggered the enemies in the next room over? Oh, the thump. Oh, God, the thumping. Yeah. Yeah, you know what the thumping is. Oh, God. Oh. You know what the thumping is. Uh, that's right, folks. Less than oh, 10 God. levels into the sequel, they throw the main boss of the first fucking game. Well, one of the main bosses of the first game at you. Oh. Oh my. Aha! Wow. Yeah, I don't even know where those guys came from. So. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. Yeah, because... So I know the main trap here is there is a teleporter that will bring them to you once you pick up the rocket launcher. 
Yeah, I know. If I if I do any damage to myself with a rocket launcher, I'm screwed. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. well, here there we, we go. go. There we go. Okay. Good. It's not a teleporter. It's stairs. Ooh. Ooh. No. Oh. Oh. God. Oh. oh. And they even put the health and armor up there to distract you and make it like, eh, eh, shiny. Oh. Nice. Man. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my God. No, we no. decided we weren't going to do that one. Mm hmm I think this one will be a little easier with a pistol start, because if I recall... Oh, never mind. That is where they came from. Well... Yep. Turns out, way easier with a plasma rifle. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm going to need you to just kind of St stand still and die, please. Why oh, are God. you running? Why are you running? How are you running? How are you even doing that? Right? Ah. Stand still and let me kill you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Also, the thing I used to shout at Millennia, uh, Blade of Mechala. I am Millennium, Blade of Mickle. That's a way better outcome. Yeah, that 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 went very smooth. Scarily smooth. Ooh. All right, got some more rockets. Hey, it's a supercharger. Oh, they say it's a secret area, but we know that there's some bullshit. Oh boy! Oh god! Oh, backpack! Well, I definitely know who I want on my zombie team. Oh, the sweet sound of shotgunners. Yep. And I'm done. I'm done. Oh. Uh, so hitboxes in Doom are also very large. Yep. Including I yours, unfortunately. Start, yeah, including mine. Okay. Really, guys? <laughs> oh god, no. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, oh. That's that's like when you're oh. uh oh. That's like when you're trying to uh like I feel like the the rock launcher like that is when you're trying to empty the ketchup bottle and you you hit it too hard and suddenly just goes splat all over you and not the burger. I wonder if the the younglings today know the horrors that are dealing with actual glass Heinz ketchup bottles. Probably not. I mean, I personally thought they had an ingenious design. Once once you learn the secret. Oh yeah, totally. I I, I love them, but I also am aware of uh, it's a little rough. Wait, what? It, it, uh, but, huh? uh, but, Okay, that Did one we, turned what? on. Da, da, da. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what? Why are you doing this to me? Uh, do you have to open it up in the right order? I would suck if that was the case. Yeah, because uh, okay, so like, go ahead and turn it, flip it again, and then just wait and watch it to see when the texture changes. Yeah, just okay. So don't turn around. Yep. Okay, so it's. Wow. Yeah, that's but, a one-time blink and you miss it secret. I think it's basically yeah. If you don't uh, you don't do it the way they want you to. 
Okay, at least this gives you shot again. Oh, or that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Wow. Wow. Like shooting imps in a pit. Yeah. Uh, speaking of shooting, uh, shooting imps, um, we to, just to let everyone know, we will not be hurting Bing Bong. All right. That oh. is that is a real the uh, uh, RIL um, tabletop um, Baldur's Gate three reference. Man, I don't know if I want to deal with this, but I kind of have to. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. Nope. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, uh, what other rooms do you got? There was the one with the teleporter, right? I know that those greens are invulns, so... Yeah. So I think the idea is they want you to, uh... Yeah, this will give you the plasma gun, at least. Oh, come on now. Come on, come on. Oh, man. Just just like a cat, they run when you want them to come over and they they jump on you when you want to want them to go away and let you sleep. So the good news about that, I think, is yeah. There you there go. There we go. All right. We have health. Oh, now it's open. It's open. What the hell is that then? I wonder if it's because I had to hit that other switch in the other room. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Whoop. Nope, not this time. Hallway. Mm-hmm. These little skinless dogs. Yep. These little claymation monsters that were photographed and then digitized. That's so great. I love that. <laughs> ah, but, so, back to my long-abandoned story. Oh. So I had so. essentially given up on shooters, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and a f I had tried a few from time to time um most notably apex legends um and just wow this is just nothing but ammo packs huh all right well we'll take what we got mm -hmm. um and other kind of arcadey style shooters that were popular and a friend of mine was, who is, uh, for those who don't know me, and I imagine that's most of you, uh, I used to be a Dark Souls no-hit runner. Mm-hmm. And one of my, oh god. So it's mm. both of these, and then it unlocks the middle one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was nice of them. Okay, these go in the same place, so I just go to the middle one. Yeah, because that's where the other one would have taken me. All right. Ah. Mm. Yeah, no, we're going to... Uh, what do we got here? This will work. Yeah, that should do the trick, I think. Go ahead and top up that. No, we don't want you out. As nice as that is, you're you're fine. We are not going to. We're Listen. not going to try and chainsaw the fucking. <laughs> no, just, just, yeah, no. just no. no, not gonna happen. All right. Um. Uh, so okay. So what? So this person comes to you and says, you know, hey, okay, try this. What was the one? So it wasn't so much as try this. I I 
I'm, I'm good friends with this person. They're a friend from back in California. And uh, they went, hey, somebody turned me on to this game the other day. I think I'm going to play it on stream. Oh. And I went, okay, this could be pretty fun. I now know where this is going. And Go so he does. We'll make sure to get the greens. Those are invulnerabilities. Invulner yep. All right. Oh, fuck. No, nope, this is fine. Actually. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're doing. This way we can... Corral one at a time. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Uh, and so he started playing Hunt Showdown. And Hunt Showdown is a PvP VE, which is player versus player versus environment, uh, bounty game extraction shooter. Where you go in with up to teams of three. Why can't I... Have I locked myself in this fucking room? Nah. There you go. Uh... Ow, my face hole. Where you and up to two other friends compete against up to nine other people Whoa. to go and kill... Oh, right. Oh, the, I wonder if... Okay, so something may have just busted in terms of the... Uh event triggers, but I'm curious if it also has to do with the enemies themselves. Okay, so... Oh, I just took that one to the face. Indeed. Okay, so you have three, three... You and two buddies plus nine other people hunting for... For what? Uh, otherworldly demons, basically. Um, so some sort of disease or virus has happened in the bayous of Louisiana uh, circa late 1800s, early 1900s. Yeah, it seems to be like vaguely like 1880s to 1910s, I think. Yeah, 1910s, 1920s. There's some vague journal entries in the game. And you are a bullet sponge. Yep. Um, kind of wish I'd saved maybe one of those ammo packs now, huh? Hmm. Because I still have way more than him to go. Uh, but anyway. Oh, good. They're fighting. I other. had tried it out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just. Might as well let them no. do that and get out of there. Yeah. Ah, that's what I wanted. Uh -oh. I can't get out of here. Oh, did you hit the, uh, the, the flesh button? There you go. Come see ya. Oh. Okay. Yes, that's my face. That's still my face. Um... Okay, yeah. we don't have ammo for nothing. You might want to open up that skull key door and see what's... Nope. Uh, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. Aha! Sales. So... Uh, hey, look. A skull key. Now that you've tried out Hunt Showdown, uh, how many hours have you logged in it now? Um, so I, I ended up really enjoying what I saw on stream. And so after, eh, <laughs> after, I don't know, two or three days of watching him stream this, I was like, all right, that's it. I'm, I'm just getting this game. And so in December of 2019, I picked up the game since then I have logged almost 3000 hours. Wow. Um, it is uh, often referred to as a boomer shooter. 
which uh, Doom is considered. Interesting. Um, I don't know if I would consider it a boomer shooter based on my understanding of the definition. But, but that being said, you know, it's one of those, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I could also be wrong. Don't take my word for nothing. Nah, you're a smart boy. You know your things. Oh! All right. Impressive. So we got we got Stompy done. And you have your um, last key. You have that, and you have one last key. Did, th we did, still haven't unlocked this, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a... Oh, that, that feels distressing. So we did this. Oh, it is distressing. Right. So we're dead. Oh, no. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, Sandy, you pee... Oh, fuck! Yeah, I forgot this was a thing. <laughs> um... The good news is, we no longer have to do much. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, okay, see ya. Yeah, bye. Oh, nice. Uh, that's the one I just, okay. Yes. Rockets we do, because we can just do this. Okay, you guys weren't supposed to dodge quite that so many, many rockets. Though. Yeah, exactly. D d d don't, d it's like you had to do the, uh, you know what they're a bunch of fussy babies they wanted you to do the airplane there, there we go. go little skillful manipulation all right so we need to do this. i guess it doesn't really matter since i'm pretty sure we learned what our yeah there's another criteria yeah uh, let's see is it you yeah we're we're good <laughs> So then, speaking of shooters in general, like, I'm curious if you've tried any of, like, the newer, what are kind of more generally considered the boom shoots, like, uh, Dusk, Ultra, uh, Project, Ultra, what is it, Ultra Kill, um, you know, Doom 2016, I guess Doom 2016 being, like, the evolution of it. So, I, I have tried Doom 2016, um, which I actually think is a really good game. Um, I didn't finish it, but... I have played it and I do like it. Um, so we don't want that door, I'm pretty sure. No, we do want this door. We don't want. Yeah, because, well, that's got armor to pick up more than anything. Uh, what the? My where you, guy. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, God. <laughs> what do you, what did you have to take a phone call out there? What's going on? There All you right. go. Oh, wait. Maybe get the. Rest of the stuff while we're here. Um, and so, I'm sorry, where were we? Uh, Doom 2016. Didn't finish it. Uh, ooh. And then also, like, the new, um, kind of new boom shoots. So, like, uh, newer boom shoots, I should say, because, oh my god, I think Dusk just is about to turn seven years old now? Oh my. So I've heard of Dusk, but I don't really know what it is. Uh, it is more, less of a Doom-like and more of a Quake-like. But it's uh, very much like a horror theme, you know, like kind of horror movie-ish themed, you know, more demons, cultists, etc. It's got aspects of the of blood. That is to say, blood as in, um, you know, Caleb blood, not um, right, right, right. Not, not, not the liquid within the within a man. And that's what I body. had forgotten about too. Blood, holy crap! Yeah, blood's yeah. It's it's hard as hell, but damn, it's a fun game. Agreed. Anyway, uh. Yeah, and then there's the other ones like, yeah, Ultra Kill is another one that a lot of folks talk about. Uh, one of the more recent ones is like Turbo Overkill. Um, uh, no, I have not had the privilege. So th the thing I appreciate about tur something like Turbo Overkill is that it has this kind of over the topness that is interesting because I believe that's the one where you have a chainsaw leg. Oh, okay. So when you bunny hop on people. Oh boy, does that have a re have a particular reaction? Ooh. Ooh.
What has been interesting in terms of you know, talking about Doom and its effects on gaming over the years is how the Doom and Doom clones, and now even in the case of how like glory kills and finishing moves are so much a thing in these games, is the way Brutal Doom has also influenced the landscape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just a big old pile of bodies. Hmm. The Illidum hit just the floor. The way I like it. Um, uh, yeah, like I think that the folks over at id. But it's I, some people have tried to argue. I think it's an indisputable fact that id created and is the grandfather of the first person shooter genre. Mm -hmm. Um, I respect that some people think there is an argument to be made otherwise. Um, but come on. I think you can actually open that one from the back. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I must have missed it the first time. Uh, uh, you don't really want to do that, but I don't think we have any other options left. I so think, yeah. Do what? Okay. I do not take offense to this, but do you want a quick save? Ah, yeah, you know what? We'll just save, save. No, no, enough of that. No, yeah, let me stand it, right here. Not dancing the dance very no, well. No, we're... there we go. Yeah, we've been at this for an hour and a half, so I don't blame you, man. Oh, that's all right. I'm so used to having shooter sessions last hours on end. It's like I said, I've been very much into Hunt, and Hunt has added enough variety. Oh boy, no to the genre while still giving me a sense of because uh, my one of wow complete a complete a sentence please my largest issue with how games have gone nowadays is uh i have gotten older uh, i no longer have the reflexes of a young man and i no <laughs> longer have the eyesight of a young man and so a lot of games nowadays are about flick reflexes. Yeah. Yeah, like the, that whole 360 no scope. Right. And uh, that's fine. Like, that it, it's going to be what it's going to be. But... Cheese, maybe? D I, yeah. No, take the cheese. Take the cheese and enjoy it. Just make sure you have some lactate if you need it. Yeah, so basically, Hunt is a slower paced shooter in a modern engine. Hmm. And so that's what really attracted me to it because the guns force the gameplay to be a bit slower. They're older. Okay. There was a wall there. Uh, we're just yeah. going to give this a break for a second. Sure. Um, while, while we discuss Hunt Showdown. Sure. But, but as you're saying, so, exactly, yeah, because you're going to have less bullets, slower reloading, even slower uh, chambering, because, you know, you have to pull the hammer back mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and aim down the sights is going to be a little more careful and et cetera. Uh, I see Nathan's been through here. He clearly has left some of his flesh goop in the, in the pillars. Right. For those at home, Nathan is the name of the flesh realm in my Call of Cthulhu homebrew campaign. I'll shoot you in your ugly little eye. Ow. 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 My eye. 
that isn't blood. Those are tears. Those are manly. Right. Ca- those manly caco demon tears. Ooh, yeah, they bunched up real good this time. Oop. Ooh. Triple kill. Oh, future me, can you get a clipple of that? Thank you. Sometimes you just gotta do it to him. Mm hmm. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, oh from behind, too? I think what happened is one circled around you. It's unfortunately easy to uh, create a situation like that. I am amazed that your armor ate so much of that rocket blast. Holy crap. Yeah, that supercharge saved us for sure. Oh my god. I'll take Ooh. that. Ooh. So the one version of Doom I do find amusing just when you hear the story, and there's that great, uh, you know, what we'll happened episode about it. Doom on the 3DO. Oh, I knew you were going to say that somehow. Yeah, that <laughs> that is a tale. And it uh, sure is. <clears throat> yeah, Rebecca, if you're if for some reason you're watching our little show bless you and all the work you've done <laughs> and also all the work you've done since because you've worked on a bunch of other yeah rebecca's worked on a bunch of other really kick-ass stuff over the years too so love to see it but yeah that well, was try not to pick up those big health packs oh excuse me that wasn't a what happened episode that was a stop skeletons from fighting episode about doom ports my apologies one of to... these days oh go ahead sorry well i was just gonna say apologies to uncle Derek. And one of these days, I'll remember those guys come right at you. Yeah. You know my feels. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, really? Oh. Oh, we didn't want to hit that yet. Camel sound uh, imps is still a bit of a mood, not gonna lie. Right. Hey, Foley artists are amazing. <laughs> it's pretty like rad. The, the, the only thing I think I would really hate about being a Foley artist would be the simple fact that I would never be able to turn off. Yes. I would just always be hearing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so my friend Eleanor from, uh, from Downcast, she, uh, so her dad is, um, or was uh, involved in the movie business or in the entertainment business as a sound recorder and, uh, engineer. And so he did mm -hmm. a lot of like, uh, he mostly did, um, ADR recording and mixing and processing. So when they were kids, this, he, he set his kids down. And had them listen to watch the Jurassic Park, uh, you know, uh, first T Rex appearance, and basically spent them going over and over again until they could name all five of the sound effects that the <laughs> that had been used to make the T Rex roar. Which admittedly is kind of terrible when I think about. Right. I. Uh... Um. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to. Oof. Oh, oh. Rocket to the face. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. All right. And, oh, oh there we go. I really like your technique of how you make sure to move yourself in such a way that... Because you, you don't know when the invuln is going to turn off. And you're putting yourself in a position where if it suddenly were to turn off, like it just did there, you'll be okay. 
Yeah, it's especially like in the early because come on, this is not realistic for for a boss. Or I'm sorry, not even a boss. This is not realistic for an encounter. Yeah, it is. It especially is not. especially since if you die, you're going to start. They're going to force you to go through this room by room. Get your guns back. Give you what ammo they're going to give you, which, as you can see, is not much. Uh, so you, you got to do. Ow, not Ooh. that. Uh, pretty much everything in your power to kind of cheese the system mm -hmm. because as you can see these guys are Jesus, I'm doing very piss poor at this right now um, As you guys can see these guys are just the spongiest mm -hmm. Enemies out there. They just eat bullets like no tomorrow I don't think we've got anything there might be, a, I think, isn't there a backpack or at very least an invuln coming up, though? In I believe room? so. There's an invuln in here, yeah. Hmm. We're at 100 health and over half ammo, though. Oh, there, there's that. <clears throat> there's some, okay. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Yep. I knew there was some bullshit. I don't remember what. Actually, we should probably be doing this <laughs> while we have invulnerability. Yeah. And not wasting our ammo. Just sit and spin, my friends. Sit yep. and spin. Yep. All right. You did a thing. Oh, Yay. Yeah. Look at all the bodies. And we have some more health on our way out. So you have the key. If you want to just end the level, you're you're welcome to. Okay. <laughs> Only quitters quit. Was that on one of the uh, the shareware? Do you you know? Are you sure you want to quit? Uh, Ooh. Hmm. Uh, it might even be... Might even be Doom 1 or 2, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's Doom 1. Hey. 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 We were talking. So, one thing I'm curious is... You know, we have Does It Play Doom, and people have gotten it to work even, like, on computerized pregnancy tests, supposedly, based Oof. on some photographic evidence. Right. Yeah, that's I, right. I'm wondering when someone, when it's going to become a category at GDQ to do a uh, no-damage speed run of Doom played on a refrigerator. Right, I, I want to see somebody bring in their fridge and do that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Could you guys? Do you guys have a? Do you guys have a uh, Samsung touch screen? Okay. We ain't. We ain't. We yeah. ain't doing this again. There we go. <clears throat> oh. Oh, and I think that is a good place to close. Holy cow. All right. And we still missed one. Oh my god. I don't care about the secrets. I don't care about the items. How did we miss <laughs> a kill in that level? Oh my god. Yeah, time 10 10 minutes more like uh a lot. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh thank you so much everyone for joining us for Mystery Death Theater 5000. Ogre, thank you so much for coming out and joining us for Doom. I had a blast. We we've been talking about having you on the channel for years and we I'm I'm so glad we made this happen. We got to do more in the new year. And uh how was it doing this? How was it doing Doom and talking stuff and doing the let's play thing? Uh, well, first off, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh second, 
this I hadn't played Doom in years when you, you hit me up and you're like, hey, I'm doing this and would you like to do something on it? I went, oh, oh, heck yes. And so and then the first time I played it on purpose was yesterday just to kind of be like, can, do I do I even know how to play this game? Uh, turns out, yeah, I'm we're doing all right. I've kept up with my shooters well enough that going back 30 years is not too much of a big deal. So it was a lot of fun. And for those of you who wonder, is Doom hard and does it still hold up? This was the middling difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, this was and, hurt me. This, this was hurt me plenty, right? Yes, this was hurt me plenty. Oh. But there's two difficulties at least higher than this one. So, yes. It is still a lot of fun even now to go back and play shooters like Doom and Doom 2 and definitely go pick them up on Steam. The these remastered remakes whatever they are called are definitely worth picking up. You can play them with a controller. Uh, but it's also fun, a lot of fun with mouse and keyboard. I played this entire time on a mouse and keyboard, uh, and I think I did all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not to mention also for those of you that like modding, if you want to buy official copies and then do all your modding, your GZ Doom, use your source ports, mm -hmm. etc. The wads are are right there. Like if you get this on Steam, the wads are right there in the folder. You just grab them, pluck them out, and uh, pop them in your GZ. Do you know the Doom source port of your choice, and then you can add Brutal Doom or do other TCs or you know other stuff. Because because there's going to be now thirty years worth of mods and maps and and wads and stuff you can take advantage of. So this is this is awesome, excellent, so cool. Ah, uh, cool. I guess with that, we'll just, uh, I think we need to go lie down because we're old. Yeah. So with that, we'll, uh, we'll see y'all next time. And, uh, and Ogre, uh, where can people find you if they, if they liked your, the, the cut of your jib? I am found on twitch.tv forward slash Ogre Banani. That's B-A-N-A-N-I. Like banana, but with an I. Yeah. Uh, all one word. And uh, I don't have a set schedule right now. We're working on that, but we're getting back to it after a little while off. So yeah. thanks again for having me. I appreciate it. Cool. And, and definitely look forward to next time. Excellent. We'll see you next time, folks. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And remember, if an imp walks right up to your face, shoot them in it. It's the polite thing to do. Every time.